Hi, and welcome to this desk-based workout. So this workout has been specifically designed to alleviate any upper body, neck, shoulder, back tension that you may have from sitting at your desk for long periods of time. You don't need anything special at all to do this workout with me today, just your chair and your desk, and we're gonna remain seated for the entirety of this workout. So if you're ready, let's get going. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our neck and we're just gonna work down. So sitting up nice and straight into your chair, um, holding your tummy in nice and tight. So just really thinking about pulling from the sides through the belly button and back through, shoulders rolled back. What we're gonna start to do is work on the neck. So I'm gonna bring the chin over the shoulder here and then over to the other side. I'm just holding for a couple of seconds so just really working through that stretch. So again, trying to get the chin over the shoulder. I'm gonna work for about three to five reps, depending on that mobility that I've got there. So work on what's good for you. Okay, next we're gonna work to bring the chin down. So we're just gonna work through the spine at the top there. So chin down to the chest, feel the pull in the back, and come back up to neutral. Now we're not bringing the head all the way back, so make sure when you bring that chin down to chest, you hold and breathe, and bring the chin up to neutral. Keeping the ears in line with the shoulders is gonna be a really good indicator to know when you're at neutral, so just bringing the chin down and up. Making sure that if you experience anything, any discomfort, then you just don't go any further. So making sure you work within your level. So again, between three and five reps here, chin comes to chest and up. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a neck roll. So we're gonna start at our shoulder and we're just gonna roll round to look over our other shoulder. So rolling round. And again, we're just working around this first part here. We're just working to the front of our body. We're not bringing the neck all the way around 360 degrees. Okay, the head's not going all the way around in a circle. Just working on rolling that neck behind. Working on your breathing now as well. Good, okay, hopefully it's starting to feel a little looser in that neck already. We're gonna work on an overhead arm reach neck. So I want you to bring the arm up over, over onto the side. So we're just stretching through the side, holding for around three to five seconds here, and then over to the other side. So just really reaching over. Good. And again. So I'm gonna go for about three on each side here, but just for you, just work on what feels good. So you may only have a few minutes in between meetings. You may just have a few seconds that you need to just stretch out. Just choose your favorite exercises. And just as you go through your day, just stretching out different parts of your body. Good, okay. Now we've woken up those sides a little bit, we're gonna work on a little rotation. So coming round to the side, and then round to the other side. So I'm keeping my knees facing forwards, and I'm just rotating the, my upper body. If you feel this is easier, you can put your fingertips onto temples, or if you feel that's not easier, just have the arms out in front here. So what I'm doing is I'm driving back with my elbow there. I'm just working again for what feels good for the time that you have. Good. So you can do as many or as few of these as you want to. Well done. Good, okay, we're gonna go for a scapular squeeze. We're already gonna try and get those shoulder blades back together. When we're typing away, we do tend to hunch over, so really working on getting those shoulder blades back together. I'm gonna get you to bring the arms behind Push that chest out a little bit. And then I just want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm bringing my arms out to the sides, squeezing my shoulder blades together, and relax. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keeping that neck up, not hyperextended. So I've got my chin away from chest, I've got my ears in line with shoulders there. Here we go. And again, Good. So working for around about five reps here. That feels really good for me, so I'm just gonna do a couple more of these. Great. 
Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on a butterfly. So I'm gonna put the, my palms onto my shoulders and I'm gonna bring my elbows in together and then I'm gonna relax. It's a little bit of movement onto the shoulder there. Not an awful lot, I'm not gripping my shoulders really tight. I've just placed my hands on top and relax. And again. Good, so just really feeling it through the back of those shoulders. Great, okay. I'm gonna bring my arm behind my neck down to trying to get down towards my shoulder blades there and then I'm just gonna push down onto the elbow. So showing you from the side here. I'm just gonna push down here, push down. I'm gonna get a nice stretch through my tricep. Making sure all the time that I'm holding in tight to my core so I'm not slumping over doing this, making sure that I'm nice and upright. Good, just pushing down and switch sides again. Pushing down. Good, and you can hold these for as long as you want to hold them for. If you really wanna get a good stretch, you can hold 30 seconds to a minute if you want to. It's totally up to you. Just make sure it doesn't go into your lower back there. So make sure you are supported. If you need to put a cushion behind you just for a bit of lumbar support, then please do make sure that you do that as well. We're nearly at the end now, so I'm just gonna show you a deltoid stretch. So this is a stretch into the shoulder. So I'm bringing my arm across the front of my body. It's not too low down, it's not too high up. Just across and I can feel that stretch going into that shoulder there. And then I'm gonna switch sides. Good. Again, you can hold up to 30 to 60 seconds here, or you can hold for as little as eight to 10 seconds on each one, it's totally up to you. If this is not your favorite stretch, you can skip it and go to the next one. Good. And then lastly, we're gonna stretch out the chest. So I'm just gonna shake hands with myself and I'm gonna pull my arms back behind my body and I'm gonna push my chest out. And I'm gonna feel that stretch all through the front. So I'm feeling that stretch all the way down here. Pushing there, I've not interlaced my fingers. And again, I'm trying not to make sure that my chin is jutting out. I'm trying to keep those ears in line with shoulders. And then I'm gonna do the reverse. And I just really pull those arms ahead and round through the back. And then one more time. So arms come behind, stretching out that chest. And then in front. I really hope you enjoyed this really short and really simple set of exercises. Please do take away the exercises that you really enjoyed and um, go and do those to help to alleviate that neck and shoulder tension. Bye for now.